What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video we're going to be doing some more farming here at Digistruck Peak, specifically looking for a Becca. Now, Digistruck Peak isn't traditionally thought of as the best farming run, but in my case I feel that I can potentially get three good items from this run. If everything goes perfect, we'll get a nice Dox Flare from Saturn. We'll get a perfect Becca from Oh My God What The Hell, because the community patch has made it so that, oh my god, what the hell, can drop the Generation 2 Pearls. And when you have the Generation 2 Pearls, sorry, someone's trying to interrupt my video recording now. I love it when people, you know, call after I've started recording a video. Since he can drop the Generation 2 Pearls, we've actually got a nice Godfinger from him, which is good. It's going to be a Jacob's Grip Godfinger with a Tum Tum prefix, so that's going to be the critical hit damage accessory there, which is pretty nice. Hopefully we're able to get a Jacob's Grip Becca as well. With like base damage accessory or something, because that would be ideal. So there is a Rabid Skag here, which is always a bother. Let's see if we can't get him nice and debuffed. Create some space here. <laughs> Didn't manage to kill him with all of that, but then somehow we... <laughs> On the turnaround shot with the uh, Pimpernel, we ended up getting the critical hit, but whatever. So they brought in another Rabid for us, which is always good. Did manage to hit the backing up critical hit on that one, so good stuff there. We're done with Rabbids for the moment. We still have one of those Fire Spider Ants behind us. Cool. Excellent. So, now we'll get another spider tank here and two emperor spider ants. Oh, it's actually a bar tank. Bar tanks can be a little bit more difficult to bore. They shouldn't be that hard to bore, though. Did finally end up getting the bore on him. When the spider ants are grouped up, I prefer to use the pimpernel, or the laiuta, rather than the pimpernel. I find that I actually get better bore action. Which is a little bit counterintuitive because ordinarily the Pimpernel is thought of as the best weapon for boar in like a lot of situations. So kind of interesting there. Threw on a stockpile relic here real quick to get my ammo up to close to maximum before we proceed into this next room. So that's good stuff. We'll go ahead and throw back on a Bone of the Ancients now so that we actually have increased survivability and damage. So that's good. Looks like we did get the preferred spawn here in the second room where we have the constructor up on the hill in the theater of martyrdom here. As opposed to a bunch of, you know, what are they called? Turrets down here? Because then we get a bunch of surveyors when we actually have to fight Scorch, which... I mean, it's not, it's not a death sentence, but it does make Scorch more difficult and this is just the better run for Zero, so that's good stuff. Just going to take the extra critical ascension off of this. We could have killed him a little bit quicker with the Pimpernel, but with that in mind, he'll die like this too. All right. Cool. Neat. Now that we have critical ascension, I hope they spawn humanoid enemies or at least things that are fairly easy to get critical hits on. There we go. Killed that thing before it disappeared, which is always good. At first it looked like another fire one. I was like, come on, I've had enough of these fire ones. But no, it's, it's an enemy who does his own variety of running away. Oh my god, come down here. Knock me off of this deal, you jerk. Now we have to run all the way over here before the Scorches will spawn, and I won't be in a place where I feel like I can reliably throw my Deception so that they will bore. Which is a bit of a bummer, to be honest with you. But, whatever. Maybe they'll both line up and I'm just being a pessimist. I was just being a pessimist, as it turns out. Thank you, Slag Spider Ant, for knocking me down onto the lower. That worked out perfect. Now... Weird situation here. Should we go down with this much ammo and this much critical ascension, or should we buy ammo? Oh, the decision has been made. We're going down. Hopefully, Dukino's mom spawns right away. Perfect. Greetings, badass. Should have at least opened those chests. Oh, well. Ouch. 
that was a pretty cool shot there on those guys. What's not cool is that I'm going to die to this. No, I didn't die. That's good. Oh, she went around the other way. I had never seen that. Whatever. Okay, so we're low on ammo, which is good. Because as we kill these guys, they should drop ammo. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, we, we got a buffalo, so we got ammo. And it dropped another sniper. We've got plenty of ammo, and we have a high amount of critical ascension. Now, some of this critical ascension comes from all the way back in the Scorches room, so hopefully it doesn't end up depleting on us as we go forward here. But it shouldn't be too bad. Who knows? We could always restack at Bonehead if things go completely wrong. Are you kidding me, antagonist? Got the rabid, which is good. An enemy spawns with a fire rifle, right? And so the antagonist does at least some good and it blocks one of those shots, but then it makes it so that I can't disable that enemy after that. I get so very tired of the antagonist, to be honest with you. I need to find a mod that makes that uh, shot permeable, that little ball that it has, so that we can shoot through it. That would be ideal. There's some enemies here that um, are hiding or are spawning in. I'm not exactly sure which. It looks like they were spawning in. Cool. So this will cause the Black Queens to spawn. We still have a bunch of ammo. We still have a bunch of critical ascension. Alright, so they didn't get bored up in the direction that I wanted them to, but hopefully we can still kill them quickly. Perfect. Should we uh, stack critical ascension on Bonehead? I don't think so. I think we should just use this critical ascension that we have and go forward. What I hate is enemies that spawn in and they look like they're spawned in and then you can't damage them yet. That is something that's unfortunate. Is it though? Is it not going to slow you down? Like really? Okay. So that surveyor should go right there which is good. Alright, I would love to actually hit this surveyor while he's still slagged, but he flew around that edge. Perfect. My dogs are going crazy. I gotta go check out what they're barking at here in just a minute. Or right now. No one wants me to record this video right now. I don't know what's up. Literally barking at nothing. That drives me insane. Okay, let's move down here and we're going to kill these guys as well. Got Doc Mercy spawning right away here, which is good because he often uh, moves his shield and allows himself to be shot after he first spawns in. We used quite a bit of ammo on him, but I'm not too worried about it. Oh, so it's just surveyors here now? I hate that surveyors don't despawn when you kill all of their, like, uh, child enemies. That would have been something that would have made Digistruct Peak a lot more fun for everybody, I feel like. Because just fighting surveyors as Sniper Zero is really aggravating because you can't get critical hits off them. So if they're just surveyors about, you know you're missing critical ascension, which is aggravating. Because you work hard to build critical ascension up. And then these guys just fly off way into the abyss there. It's silly. Give me a little bit of ammo there off of that. Uh... Jack Placard, I guess, is what it's called. That guy can't shoot at me, so I'll shoot at him. Perfect. This should drop quite a bit of ammo for us, especially Doc Mercy over here. Because he dropped a sniper. We should have plenty of ammunition to uh, take out the 
assassins, but I want to make sure I have enough grenades. So that's why I spent a couple grenades in order to get up to eight grenades. I know that's a little bit counterintuitive, but three is kind of the breaking point for grenades. If you get below four grenades or you get to three grenades, really, um, then you're going to encourage the chest to drop a lot more grenades if you're not low on any other type of ammo. And since I wasn't low on sniper ammo, the game really only felt that I needed um, grenade ammo, which is true. It's the only thing I really needed. Wow, you don't often get a uh, surveyor in this area. That's kind of weird there. So I used a couple of those grenades there, probably erroneously. I did not need to use them, but six grenades going into this room is not too bad. Especially with, since we also have, you know, 60 stacks of critical ascension. Perfect. So the easy one, or the hard one is dead. The easy one's still shooting at us over here. And then obviously the hardest one comes soon. Cool. So that thing's dead. Perfect. This will cause the fat one and the hard one to spawn. Let's go ahead and throw a preemptive slag grenade for both of them here. Gotta love the antagonist there, blocking my deception shots. I always appreciate that. Ooh, I think we hit an early critical hit on that guy. It made him a little bit easier to take out. So that guy's dead. We'll move forward here. We could go buy ammo and stuff, but I still have 60 stacks or thereabouts of critical ascension, so we might as well utilize it. We still have plenty of sniper ammo. We're a little bit low on grenades, but we'll see what happens here. Where is this guy stalled at? Oh, I don't see him. Alright, so there must be no surveyors about because I didn't see anything coming this dude's way. So with that in mind... Oh, there is a surveyor here. I was going to say I wouldn't uh, kill anything else, or I wouldn't try to injure anything else and just go for kills, but there was still something there. Alright. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the antagonist, dude. It's weird that it's both the best defensive shield and <laughs> it's also the best at blocking your offense. That's, I mean, I guess that's the trade-off you have to make. Get some ammo here for old Saturn. Hopefully we won't need it. Hopefully Saturn just force blows. It's a good area to start the Saturn spawn at. We're very, very close to safety here. So that's one of them dead. There we go. Get rid of both Saturns here, see if they dropped a flare for us. Now what I'm looking for here is going to be a Jacob's Gripped flare, which is a little bit unfortunate for me because the grips on shotguns are a little bit harder to discern than those of other weapons because the stock on the shotgun is the part that's nearest to the trigger and that's the easiest for me to differentiate. Either way, it doesn't look like we got a freaking flare yet, so so far this has been a pretty poor run. As far as item drops go, I have not seen too many legendary item drops. I don't think I've seen any, in fact. No Infinity, no Hellfire, no Mongol, etc. Did see a buffalo, though, which was nice. Or, I think I saw a buffalo. Take that every single time, dude. Huh, I can't get low enough to actually shoot through the uh, turret onto this guy, but I'll still take that. All right, still obviously a surveyor in here, which sucks, but what else is there? Shot that guy with the Pimpernel twice and he didn't slag. That's always fun.
Oh, wow. I was hoping he would do that thing where he got stalled on something, but he didn't. All right, so that's the end of that room. We'll move forward. We still have a little bit of critical ascension. We might as well carry it with us. Wow. Open those two boxes and not a single grenade or sniper around. That's unfortunate. But that's why you want to deplete yourself below a certain capacity before opening those chests, I guess. She's talking about loaders and what I see is a lunatic and a rat. And still more marauders. So is this a shield one? I guess we'll take him out. I'm the one who knocks is a uh, Breaking Bad reference. It's probably the best show of all time. So it looks like we got a couple badasses spawning here at this point. I've had a surveyor get stuck here before, so I want to make sure that doesn't happen. So is this really our only guy left? What an unclimactic enemy to end on here. Whatever. So, like, you could buy ammo here and be a lot safer, but then I would lose my critical ascension stacks, which I hold very near to my heart. So, 37 rounds of ammunition better be enough to kill this guy. It was totally worth it to have 15 stacks of critical ascension for this boar, as opposed to max ammo. See? Totally worked out. Alright, let's see if we got a Becca. Where is the pearl? I see a purple sniper over here, or is that just a green sniper? Just a green sniper. Okay, there should be a pearlescent weapon somewhere around here, if I had to guess. And that pearlescent weapon is going to be... Oh no, what is this? A Tunguska? Are you kidding me? No, I don't want a Tunguska, man. Oh, I'm going to shoot this way far away because I know it can kill me. Oh god. Oh, that's a lot cuter now with the community patch. A lot faster and stuff. Um, Bummer, dude. That is not what I was hoping for, if I'm honest with you. I wanted something... God. This would be a cool weapon to help your friends out with if you've somehow died in Digistruct Peak and you're standing up near Tannis. <laughs> Alright. Um, this is a bummer, man. I really wanted that, Becca. We'll, uh, we'll come back here and we'll give it another run. I'm going to walk my dogs first, though, because they seem to be growing irritated. I have two doors to the outside, right? And one of those doors was open and one of them was closed. One of the dogs had gone outside the open door, and the other dog was sitting there looking outside the closed door, barking up a storm because apparently she thought she was locked inside and couldn't get outside somehow. The doors, if you're curious, are two sliding glass doors that are just from different rooms of my house. It's really not that hard to see that one's open from the other one. You can actually see both doors from one another, so I don't know. Maybe my dog's just not that smart. Let's open these chests here and see what happens. be disappointed if I killed myself here. Obviously, um, we would fail the quest, I think, and that's a bummer. But it wouldn't be that big a deal. All we'd be missing out on is a chance at an E-Tech sniper, which is a good thing. We want an E-Tech sniper, but it's, it's rather unlikely, right, that we'd actually get a good E-Tech sniper. So with that in mind, we'll come over here and see what happens. We could obviously do read-only farming of this quest once we actually get a Becca, but until we get a Becca, we're going to need to come back to Digstruck Peak anyway, and so with that in mind, I don't really see it as that important. The Tunguska. I guess that's my last round of it. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this quest in. Ooh, a Stoic Plasma Caster. So this is in Doll. I don't really know if that's a Doll Grip or not. I... 
would imagine that's a Hyperion grip because it looks like the Hyperion grip on a Hyperion sniper in a way. So maybe that's not a great doll plasma caster, but doll plasma casters can be pretty fun. So you obviously get an E-Tech weapon from her quest, but meh. I would have shot her right in the face there if we had ammo bros. Would have killed us both. All right, so what I'm going to do here is just save, quit out, walk my dogs, probably get some refreshments, and then come back and do this again. I say refreshments. It's fucking hot outside, so I'm probably going to end up buying, like, a, like a strawberry smoothie or something. I'm pretty stoked about it. I'll be back in just a few. All right, so strawberry smoothie was awesome. The dogs have been walked. We're going to go check out what happens now when we run Digistruct Peak again. Now, it is unfortunate that we got a Tunguska last time instead of, you know, whatever I was looking for, the Becca. But it does look kind of cool. <laughs> you know, they gave it a new skin and stuff. So that's neato. Let's proceed here and see if we're actually able to, I don't know, wipe out all of Digistruct Peak again and procure a Becca. That would be excellent. Hoping for good spawns all the way here. We can already tell that the first room here is not a good spawn. Bad spawn in this first room. Oh well. It is funny that they just decided to come here to the training area, but they're all destructed and they're not weak to uh, fire and are instead weak to corrosive, so I don't know. She probably still had to kill them. But if they came to her and offered to be put into the <laughs> Destruct Peak run, perhaps they just, they love fighting. They wanted to fight forever. Alright, so that guy should call in that uh, stupid surveyor that we have flying about. Man, after dog walk, I guess it's just the leash um, <laughs> that is totally thrown off my aim. I'm not entirely certain here. Okay, so that guy's dead. Let's make sure we don't get killed by this rat. And then we'll try to aim a little bit better going forward. Hmm. Weird that we just have these two surveyors. Usually when that happens, there's like three of those shock nomads as well somewhere. Oh, there are. I was like, what's going on here? There should be shock nomads. Alright. Should be another shock nomad jumping up here in just a moment. Perfect. Go ahead and slag this one as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is swap on a stockpile relic so that we can open all of these chests and hopefully get a little bit more ammo. I'm going to deplete my ammo just a little bit further. Okay, that's good enough. Now we should have gotten a bunch of sniper ammo. Eh, we didn't get a ton, but it's good enough. There's an ammo box or an ammo machine in the next room in case we want to buy ammo there. That's plenty of ammo. So, looks like we got a bad spawn, but not the worst spawn in here. We could have got the one where the surveyor spawns on top of the... Not the surveyor, the constructor spawns on top of the hill. That one's my favorite, but this one will do. Okay, so this guy over here has shotguns, which is dangerous, depending on the type of shotgun they are, but... Not those shotguns at this range, so we'll move forward here. I was hoping that my transfusion trail would see it as beneficial to attack that guy, but apparently not. Let's make sure that guy's shield is gone. Hopefully he gets uh, shielded by the super badass. I guess he won't, because he died.
Just take out that thing with the maximum amount of ammo that we could possibly use. That's good. I guess I should get health back. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just a few more dudes to take out here. It looks like this one's going to be a skag, unfortunately. Ooh, he needs of the rabid variety, it looks like. It's always good. There's one more thing over the fence here. I like that he didn't get slagged yet. That's that's special. You know what? 19 ammo should be enough to take out Scorch. Now we got even more than that, though. Cool. All right. Now we don't have as much critical ascension as we had last time, and we have less ammo still. So this time I am going to buy ammo before we proceed to do Kino's mom. I am going to open this chest here just because we're not fighting or racing against critical ascension at this time. Maybe we'll get a nice item from it. Ooh, there's a sniper and an E-Tech pistol, but not an E-Tech sniper. You never get the E-Tech sniper, man. Ever, ever. Pick that up just because. Alright, so we'll go down and check out Dukino's mom here. Um, she may have something for us. She may not. I prefer to get the spawn where she spawns right away, but obviously we didn't get that. And instead, we'll have to fight her young first, I guess. Two shots, did not get slagged. Why is that? Few more of these to take out. I think they have you kill about six or so. I'm not entirely certain. So that took out Dukino's mom without too much trouble there. I don't see a legendary or a sniper on the ground, so we're proceeding. Hopefully we get the Black Queens right away. Of course we didn't. Um, <laughs> bummer, man. Hopefully if there's a repair surveyor, they'll head that way. see or hear someone shooting at me with a weapon. Of course there's a rabbit here for us. Why wouldn't there be? So there was a rocket loader there. Um, something that you always need to take note of. Speaking of, there's a guy with a shock sniper there, so that's good as well. Finally managed to nab a critical hit on the first of the two rabbits. There's another rabbit here for us, though. Perfect. 
perfect. All right, a little bit low on ammo. Um, kind of a lot of it low on ammo, actually. There we go. Hmm. Perhaps I should have reloaded. Now I have to fight all these little guys. I guess fighting those little guys wasn't as bad as I made it out to be. I see a nuke in there. We'll pick it up. Have plenty of ammo. Damn, that guy has a ton of health. Should have slagged that guy, but whatever. No boneheads yet? What in the world is this? Kind of do wish that right now, having missed so many critical hits on that guy that I never met him. Whatever. Is this guy still alive? I thought for sure he would be dead by now. Whatever. Then there's one more guy back here somewhere. Okay. Should be plenty of critical ascension to move forward here. I'm going to blow up all of those so that hopefully we get a ton of ammo. And we did. Plenty of ammo. Plenty of critical ascension. Hopefully there will be a dead Doc Bercy pretty soon. Crap. The double slag ant does not please me at all so that's a real bummer there um, but we'll be able to get our second wind here on Doc Mercy what a waste of my critical ascension though oh good none of those transfusion trails came through me uh, quick enough for me to like avoid death but we still avoided it pick up that just because it's a grenade that we can have So when she's talking about these multiples of the same being, what she means is surveyors. We'll spawn multiple surveyors at once to eat up all of your uh, critical ascension. Cool. And now there's one more surveyor here. So that's like a triple surveyor spawn in a row. That's a pretty advanced technique, especially when the surveyor then gets stuck somewhere. That's, uh, that's special there. Fucking terrible, terrible design. Whatever. Okay, a little bit low on ammo, not too low on ammo. We have less grenades than I would like, so we'll go ahead and get rid of a couple of them there. Perfect, now we have plenty of grenades. Um, still only have 67 sniper ammo, 60 stacks of critical ascension. Hopefully that won't be a problem here. Um, there are a couple enemies spawning up here in this transitional room. You don't technically have to kill them, um, especially when there are multiple surveyors. Did they literally just spawn three surveyors? That is straight up terrible. I'm just going to ignore them. Hopefully they don't come bother me in this room. 
I have never seen that before. That is... <laughs> I've probably seen it before and just don't remember. Oh, and they do come into this room. So, surveyors and a bunch of turrets are now spawned all over this area. Are you kidding me? Like, why would they do something like that? Why would they make that a possible spawn, I wonder? Just to shit on the player, I guess. Triple surveyor into multiple turrets. Come on, now. You can do better than that. gotta imagine the antagonist was blocking some of those shots because some of them looked like they were hitting and they weren't so that's just one of the beauties of the antagonist there <laughs> fucking love these turrets dude go into deception and they still shoot you who thought that that was a good idea who thought we should put a bunch of turrets in the hardest room of the map but only make them spawn half the time Okay, so we'll get out of here now, and we'll move on. <laughs> Triple surveyor in the transitional room so that you can't maintain any critical ascension. And then a bunch of fucking turrets in the uh, start of the assassin room. That There are a lot of things I love about Digistruct Peak. That is not one of them. Huh. Well, I guess we'll fight Saturn from down here. I hope that this is enough ammo to do it with. Ooh, that's not any good. That's good. We'll just finish him off here. Perfect. Did he drop a flare? Ooh, he did drop a flare. What is this? Please be a hunting flare or a dox flare? No, it's a handy flare with a Hyperion stock. I don't know what grip that has. That's a bummer. I don't know what handy is the prefix for either. Pick up that grenade just for kicks. We won't have any hardly any critical ascension by the time we get to this next room, but... Hopefully, everything starts turning up for this run here in just a minute, and we actually get a Becca to drop. That would be tremendous. All I wanted was the easy critical hit off of that dude, and I almost died for it. Oh well. Those Emperor Spider Ants a little bit peeved that I'm not giving him the respect he deserves, but there were other people who needed my attention. Warloader's a little bit irritating, but he shouldn't be able to deal that much damage to me. Back up just a little bit here. Try to engage that little fucker. Perfect. Just a few more enemies to take out here. One of them's way over here. I guess we could deal with him.
Might need to end up slagging a couple of these dudes. I'm not so sure. Maybe we don't need to. Oh wow, he actually got slagged somehow. That's good. Oh my gosh, how did he glitch over there? Whatever. Just this rat to take out. God, I hate rats, man. Oh well. Um, almost ran out of ammo against that dude. That should mean we get a lot of sniper ammo from these chests here. Cool. It's plenty of sniper ammo to take out this last room, obviously. There is a chance that a surveyor will get stuck in the wall, then perhaps we'd need more ammo, but meh. I'm going to run up the hill a little bit here because they're bringing in the turrets on that train, which are stupid irritating. Whoa. Took an eye blast there that I didn't mean to take. That happens, I guess. Again, could buy ammo, but oh my god, what the hell, shouldn't take more than about three ammo anyway. At least that's my hope. So we'll see if that's the case. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this time it's uh, Godfinger, or not Godfinger, but Godfinger's cousin for everybody, the Becca. Alright, so I saw the pearlescent drop. It's up here somewhere. Ooh, it is a Becca. Is it Jacob's Grip? Is it Jacob's Grip? Oh my god, it's Jacob's Grip. This is the best. I thought I was about to have to do another run of this, and I don't have to. I wonder what accessory it is. I don't really know my assault rifle accessories. Hopefully it's, like, a good one. Boss. I think that's base damage, dude. I really do. Oh, dude, I got a Becca, man. <laughs> pretty stoked about that first run. It was a pretty solid run, I think, as far as our execution and stuff went. My dogs threw me off more than the enemies. But now, that's Becca forever, dude. I'm actually going to leave the quest unturned in so that we can uh, farm the E-Tech snipers in a minute as well as far as quest reward farming. But perhaps that will be a separate video because this we got a Becca, which is something I honestly didn't expect to get for a long time. So that's pretty sweet there. Um, I think this is actually pretty close to a perfect Becca, right? Like, I don't know what stock that necessarily is. It kind of looks like a Jacob stock to me. But I don't know. It could be doll or whatever else it might be. Um, I believe Vladoff would have, like, poles on it. Or, like, you know, kind of like this does. It has, like, the sections of pole or wire. I don't know. You know, but I don't know. I would assume that's a doll, or not a doll stock, a Jacob stock, but I could be wrong on that. I do think that's Vlad off site. I don't know. Either way, we got a Becca, which is a powerful weapon. So that's good. Let's go ahead and see if these Iridium chests have anything for us, and then I'm going to... I guess go to the Washburn Refinery to play around with the Becca for just a minute. Oops, didn't need that item. So if we're going to be using the Becca, I guess we should use a Legendary Killer instead. Could also use Two Fang, but I'm not so keen on respecking at the moment, so I'll just go without Two Fang. Just rely on the Becca itself. Cool. Let's see what we can do with this Becca here in the Washburn Refinery. I'm pretty stoked about this, dude. <laughs> Actually ended up getting a Becca. What is that, a 1 in 12 chance? So we gave it two tries here and ended up getting it on the second chance. There's like a 1 in 6 chance of that happening, I guess. Maybe. 
And then um, <laughs> actually getting the right grip and accessory is a lot more rare. I guess getting a perfect Jacobs is um, significantly less rare. Ooh, I have very low assault rifle ammo because I haven't bought SDUs. Getting a perfect Jacobs is a little bit less rare than, say, getting a perfect Malawan because, obviously, Jacobs don't come in elements, so there's less variance in the parts there. Okay. Should have slagged this guy, whatever. Cool beans, dude. Let's move further. I think that's the Jacob's Grip. If it's not the Jacob's Grip, I'm an idiot, but I'm pretty sure it's the Jacob's Grip. Beck is obviously a solid weapon with boar because it has, like, special projectile interaction, which is good. I swear there are more enemies in this room somewhere. <laughs> Obviously haven't killed too many enemies with assault rifles on this character. Luckily the Becca is basically um, infinite ammo <laughs> because um, even if you don't have all of the uh, assault rifle a ammo SDUs. I don't think you're going to be able to pull this trigger enough to, you know, kill enemies or and not kill enemies, basically, based on how much ammo we had there. Cool. <laughs> I'm happy to have it, you know? It's not going to be a weapon that I use a ton, but it is a cool weapon nonetheless, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I'll just do the badass too. So this is awesome. We ended up getting the Becca that I wanted. Um, it's kind of not awesome that uh, I was planning to make a lot more Digistruct Peak videos, which I kind of have fun making and everything, even when I don't get the spawns that make me the happiest. But yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Definitely a lot of recoil on the weapon, but to be expected, I guess. Cool. Now, if this isn't the perfect stock on the J uh, Jacob's Becca, I'm going to be all right with that. If it's, you know, I do think it's the best accessory and best grip, though. So I'm pretty stoked about it. If the recoil is a little bit tough to manage, so be it. I'll try to manage it. But uh, overall, I'm pretty stoked about the Becca, to be honest with you. I think that it is a very fun weapon to use. And we were actually able to get it from Oh My God, What the Hell, which is awesome. It's another great benefit of the community patch, because without the community patch, you could really only farm this item from Tubbies, who obviously can drop a bunch of other items and other Pearl Essence as well. And it can make farming a Becca or a Godfinger a little bit difficult to do. So I love the fact that you're actually able to farm those from um, Digistruct Peak now. I think that that is huge. Makes them easier to farm. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd appreciate that as well. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.